Hi, welcome to Facts on Four, late May 2019 edition. My name is Susan Nicastro. I represent Ward 4 on the Brockton City Council, and this is my nearly monthly show about what's going on in Ward 4 and in Brockton as well. Um, so what's going on? Well, I'm, I'm in my patriotic garb. I'm fresh from walking in the Huntington School Parade, which has been going on for over 100 years in the Campello neighborhood. And it was wonderful. It was my first Huntington School Parade. So being fresh from that, let's continue on. What's going on around here? Well, Monday, May 27th is going to be Memorial Day. And that's a legal holiday in the United States of America. It was created to solemnly commemorate the sacrifice of men and women who died for our country's freedom in times of war. In the city of Brockton, we will observe Memorial Day with the parade this Monday, May 27th at 10 a.m. The parade route, it's small but efficient. The parade starts at the War Memorial Building at 156 West Elm Street. Then it heads down West Elm and takes a right on Newberry Street, then takes a left on Belmont Street, a left onto Main Street, then turns east onto Crescent Street and then north onto VFW Parkway, where uh, parade participants will lay a wreath on the monument at the top of VFW Parkway where it intersects with Warren Avenue. Following the parade, there will be a brief ceremony at City Hall Plaza. And all are welcome to join us to, to uh, commemorate this important event in our, our country's history, and in particularly for Brockton. What else is going on? Well, on Sunday, June 9th, from noon until 3 p.m., at the Georgie Keith Park, which is at the intersection of Main, Plain, and Montello Streets, there's going to be a Flag Day family picnic in the park. Okay. Bring your picnic basket lunch or perhaps food from your favorite Campello restaurant. The Keith Park Neighborhood Association will, will su supply games, fun, cold drinks, fresh fruit, and desserts. And they will be hosting relay races, badminton, volleyball, jump rope, hula hoop, ring toss, sack races, and more. Truly an old-fashioned family picnic. It should be a ball. Let's pray for sunny weather. And they'll also raise a special flag to commemorate Flag Day. Children must be accompanied by a parent or adult. And sorry, there is no open flame cooking allowed in the park. So that's Sunday, June 9th from noon until 3, a Flag Day family picnic sponsored by the George E. Keith Park Neighborhood Association. Okay, so two wonderful things to look forward to in the near future. So let's just spend a minute talking about what's happening at the boards and commissions that affects Ward 4. Um, and by the way, I'm Susan Nicastro, the Ward 4 City Councilor. If you have questions or comments, call me at 508, uh, I think it's 897-1314. Thanks. Okay, so what's going on that affects Ward 4? Well, on Wednesday, May 29th at 1.30, there's going to be a very important hearing of the appeal of the air permit application that was filed by Brockton Power Company with the Department of Environmental Protection. And that hearing is going to take place in the Coleman Conference Room on second floor of the Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection offices located in Downtown Crossing, 1 Winter Street in Boston. Now, it's a hearing of arguments advanced in written briefs that were filed with Mass DEP 11 months ago. I, I'm sure most of you are sitting there saying, what, we thought the power plant was dead. The power plant that was proposed for Oak Hill Way is not dead. This air permit is still around. And in addition, the Energy Facility Siding Board has not allowed the permit to build the, the plant that was, that was issued almost 10 years ago to lapse by operation of law. They've been keeping it alive. Interesting, huh? Well, anyway, as for this air permit hearing, um, people who are interested are urgently um, asked to attend the meeting, okay, on Wednesday, May 29th at 1.30, 
to show the DEP that Ward 4 continues to oppose a power plant on Oak Hill Way. So I wanted to make sure you were aware of that. Okay, so then we go into June, and on Tuesday, June 4th at 6 p.m., the Brockton Planning Board will be meeting in the GAR room at City Hall on the second floor. There are two Ward 4 matters that I want you to be aware of. The first one is 839 Main Street. A gentleman named Lucindo Sores is seeking site plan approval of a three-story building on a very small lot in the block of Main Street that's between Nilsen and Tribu Streets, and it's next door to a church. So if you have questions about that or concerns, come to the, come to the hearing, go on the city's website, go to the planning board's page and, and uh, find the documents for this hearing so you can get a look at them and ask questions at the hearing, or give me a call, 508-897-1314. All right, the second matter that will be on the planning board's agenda is 1367 Main Street, and it's a request to return to zoning. Well, here's the background. Trinity Baptist Church has proposed to sell land of theirs on Main Street. Um, and the land fronts on Greenwood Street so that a developer can build two residential homes. Their proposal was denied in April by the Zoning Board of Appeals. Well, now they say they've made substantial changes to their plans, and so they're asking the Planning Board to give them a second crack at the Zoning Board of Appeals, which is what you must do, go to the Planning Board per state law. So that hearing is Tuesday, June 4th at 6 p.m. at the Planning Board. All right, continuing the following week into June, on Tuesday, June 11th at 6 p.m. in the City Council Chambers, the Brockton Zoning Board of Appeals will meet, and there are three matters that are in Ward 4 that will be affecting Ward 4. And the first one is the owners of property at 552 Summer Street are proposing to demolish an attached three-car garage and build a new one, okay? And the second one is New Heights Charter School, which is located at 1690 Main Street, seeks a special permit and a variance to have the Zoning Board of Appeals determine their parking requirements as they propose to increase their student population from 525 children to 630 children and to increase the staff that they employ to 80. So uh, that was on last month's agenda, and it was postponed to this month. And finally, the owners of the property at 1200 Montello Street and 5 Terminal Place in Campello are seeking variances to change the use and to change the parking and setback requirements to enable them to construct a rather large apartment building. Again, that's at the Zoning Board of Appeals meeting on Tuesday, June 11th. It's going to be starting at 6 p.m. Usually they start at 7, but they just have so many matters on their agenda. They're going to start at 6 p.m. this month, and that's in City Council Chambers on the second floor of City Hall. If you have questions or comments or concerns with any of those matters, give me a call, 508-897-1314, or in the case of the Zoning Board of Appeals, give the Building Department a call or go to their offices. Okay. Finally, well... George, Gers George Gershwin composed a wonderful song that Ella Fitzgerald made, for, made famous, and she sang it so beautifully. And it started with, Summertime and the living is easy. Well, in Brockton, summer can bring picnics, visits to the park, and fun gatherings, and it can also bring loud, long parties in our neighborhoods, which can disturb our peace if they're too long or too loud. Well. The key to all of this, as is the key to so many things in life, is good communication and consideration. That's what's key. City living means lots of residents living nearby, okay? And people from all walks of life have get-togethers or embrace quiet. It's just how it is. Party hosts have the same rights as their neighbors. If you're hosting a party, may I suggest that you set some reasonable times for your party, the beginning and the ending, and tell your neighbors that you're going to be having a party, especially if it's a graduation party, a family get-together. Neighbors have 
have events in their lives and they have uh, you know, family to get together with, people want to understand what, what their neighbors are doing, okay? And they want to go along with it because they like that same consideration for themselves. Communicate, communicate and be considerate. Um, if you're living nearby, try to be understanding if, if neighbors are having a party. And be respectful of your neighbor's right to quiet enjoyment of their homes, okay? Um, it goes without saying, a party that's too loud or goes too long, you're going to have some calls to the police, to the Brockton Police Department. That's not what you want for your event. Um, keep that in mind. And it goes without saying, but I will say it anyway, that parties for pay, all right, parties where you pay at the door and go in and it's in somebody's home or backyard, they're not allowed in residential zones in Brockton. If you want to have a party for pay, rent a function hall, okay? And if you have a disturbing of the peace matter, you should call Brockton Police Department at 508-941-0200. So many people are afraid of retaliation um, and don't want to give their names. You don't have to but you should report it. The most important thing is to create a record and to keep calling back every 30 minutes or so. The police are busy, they prioritize their calls, but they want to help you, okay? So give Brockton Police a call if you have disturbing the peace issues at 508-941-0200. Keep calling every 30 minutes and uh, be patient. Okay, at my Ward 4 meeting just a few days ago, I was fortunate to have Patrolman Bill Healy speak about neighborhood watches and traffic enforcement and other crime-related issues, and, and at least 35 residents attended, which was terrific. Well, Officer Healy told residents in part that if you have a traffic enforcement-related issue, people going too fast, people parking in different, you know, on the edges of streets or in crosswalks, you should give the Brockton Police Department a call at 508-941-0200 and ask to leave a message on the voicemail of the traffic commissioner who is um, police officer Captain John Hallisey, okay? Or else you can email Captain Hallisey at jhallisey, J-H-A-L-L-I-S-E-Y at brocktonpolice.com. If you see something happening, say something. Give Captain Hallisey a call. He's a really good guy. So I don't know how long that lasted, but that's my facts on four for this late May of 2019. I wish you all a wonderful Memorial Day weekend, and as the summer begins, I, I wish you happy times. If you have any issues or concerns you want to share with me, give me a call, 508-897-1314, or email me at snicastro at cobma.us. Thank you so much. How was that? How many minutes? Wow.